I technically haven't filmed a video today because it's 12.03 a.m., which means it is officially May 1st and not April. So, because I'm awake and I'm very excited about this video because I have been, I have been, I just totally lost my train of thought. I have been, wow, I can't think of my word. I lost a word. Have you ever lost a word before? I've been drooling over doing this video, I suppose you could say, for pretty much the whole month. I decided to do my very first empties video at the end of this month. And after the first few days, I was like, I'm not going to have anything to put in this video. So I start trying really hard to use up some of the stuff in my bathroom that needs to be used up anyway, which is a doubly good thing. So I have a big pile of empty stuff. I'm also really excited because I used nail stickers for the very first time and they turned out better than I expected them to. But it's midnight. I was just going to do this tomorrow because it's still like today, but it's technically May 1st. But I'm awake. I'm just really excited about doing this video. If you can't tell by like all the bounciness, I might also be a little sleep deprived. So I'm just going to start in on it because I'm so excited. Um, anything that like I know what it is, you'll, you'll understand what I mean once I start here in a second. If you want a written review, I'm going to be putting written reviews on Influencer as much as I can find the products and that sort of thing. If you want me to do a, if anybody watching wants me to do a video review of anything particular, uh, put that down in the comments and let me know if you have any suggestions for similar things to try, put that in the comments too. And if you like Empty's videos, go ahead and hit that awesome bright red subscribe button. I know, I'm an annoying pain in the butt, but Anytime I get a new subscriber, I just saw one. I saw one pop up when I checked it like five minutes ago. I'm up to 17 now. I'm so excited. Anytime I get a new subscriber, I like bounce off the walls and post Facebook statuses and instant message my fiance in all capital letters. So you should totally hit that button and I will be bouncing off the walls. Um, so I'm going to get started on the empties video now. The first thing I have is a giant pile of candles. Like... A giant pile of candles and these are old Bath and Body Works bags I found them cleaning um, I didn't buy any of these candles they all came from people they gave them to me I don't remember who gave me this first one but the rest of them are from Alex's mom I just finished burning them and then when I get done with them I put well like if it has a sticker this is the only one with a sticker it has a sticker I pull the sticker off and put it on a plastic bag and then I boil some water in a pot, stick the jar in there until this is all melted, and I turn it into wax melts for my wax melter. If you'd like a video on how I do that, put that down in the comments because I can totally do that too. So I'm just going to start in on this. Um, first candle, like I said, I don't know where it came from. It is a True Living candle uh, in three cents, Tahitian vanilla, vanilla sugar, and coconut vanilla. These are the ones that come from Dollar General. I loved how this smelled. You know, I always wonder why people smell stuff when they're doing empties videos, and then I'm doing it, but it does smell really great, and I'm really looking forward to turning that into a wax melt. I have this random orange candle, which all of these smelled great, which is why I'm so looking forward to turning them into wax melts. Random orange candle, I think this is one of those Better Homes and Gardens ones, from Walmart, but it didn't have a sticker on it when I got it. it. Smelled really good though. Um, let's see, I have this one, which I think was a Glade one. Like I said, none of these really have stickers on them. And these two, and I, uh, after I melt them down and turn them into wax melts, I save the jars either for craft projects to put random stuff in. Or these fancy ones and the next ones I'm about to show you I'm going to use to put my makeup stuff in like brushes and stuff to make it all organized and pretty and fancy because look at these jars these have like sparkly things and these little designs they're beautiful these are aromatique aromatique however you want to say that candles these two they both smell really good they're beautiful jars I'm looking forward to using those for my makeup stuff okay so 
This one's empty of candles. This one only has three in it. These are also the aromatic, but they look different. They're just straight up and down jars. So these little ribbons and then these A things on them. So I'm going to be using those for my makeup too. Um, I have these two. A white one, a green one. You know I'm going to file it back in the back. Yeah, there we go. Filing it back in the back. Yes. Sorry if this is noisy. This is not working as anticipated. Okay. Yeah. So I have a white one of these, a green one of these, and you can kind of see the color there. Maybe that can help you figure out what kind it is. They all smell great. I really like them. They burn really long. That Dollar General coconut thing, that thing took forever to burn down, and it was already most of the way gone. And then I have a red one of these. Like I said, melt them down. This turns into wax melts, and then the jars I reuse for different things. I'm going to use these for makeup. I say the same thing like four times. I'm very hyper and excited. Now for the rest of the normal empties. I've been saving this stuff all month, so I'm going to dump it out over here so I have somewhere to put the stuff back in when I get it out. Oh. This box was not my smartest idea because everything keeps getting stuck in it. Okay. So these may not be in the order that I use them, but I'm just going to grab things out of this. Let me turn the camera here. This. No, no. Where is it? This giant pile of stuff on my bed. So the first thing that's rolling towards me is a bottle of Advil. I used up a bottle of Advil this month, which 80 tablets. That, that takes a while. That's like 20 uses. Yeah, a lot of times I take four of them at a time. Although I do take two when I take them. And then Alex takes them when he's over. So there's that. The, these were the nice ones. I just get ibuprofen. I don't really care what kind it is, if it's brand name or whatever. But these are the really nice ones. I got these because they were on sale. And these were the really nice ones that if you accidentally put it on your tongue, it doesn't taste nasty. It actually tastes good. So that was nice. I think I got another bottle of those downstairs. Um... I have a Redbud Garden Lavender Bath Bomb. This is local. Um, I got it at my farmer's market here in town. This was awesome. I haven't used a bath bomb in years. Everybody on YouTube is going nuts about bath bombs. Mostly the Lush ones, but I don't have a Lush near me and they're kind of expensive anyway. This was like $2 I think and it was like a, a ball like this big around. It was really nice it um it smelled amazing I absolutely love this I'm planning on getting another one the next time I go to the market but yeah I don't think there's any way to get them unless you go to the local farmers market here but that was really awesome they had another smell too but I don't remember what it was and they had like the ball ones and they have little heart shaped ones really cool um da -da -da -da. I used up a, it's all gone, it's sad, it's a, oh, that poofed, I don't know how it poofed, it's Mary Kay Translucent Loose Powder, come on, focus, focus, um, I already pulled the sifter bit out because I wanted to get all of it out that I could, I originally got this, um, somebody passed it on to me, and I love it. I love translucent powders because I am so pale. I don't have to worry about matching the color because it's really hard to match colors to my my paleness. So I love translucent powders. I love this. I'm sad it's gone. It's on my list of things to get again eventually because Mary Kay is cruelty free. Or at least that's what I've read. You know how you can how much you can trust that. Let's see, does it even say on here? It says it's made in the U.S. Doesn't say anything about that. But I have a few other translucent powders that I'm going to try out. I have a Wet n Wild one, a Heart Candy one, Hard Candy that are pressed. So I'm going to try those. And then I have an Elf Loose one that I'm that a bunch of people have been talking about on YouTube. So I'm going to try that. 
and I just I'm trying to use up some stuff that I've got and I've been getting those recently to try out new ones to see if I could get a cheaper replacement for this because I found this on Amazon for like seven bucks but the elf one's like two so if I can find one that I like I might just get that instead but I'm gonna try and use those and see if there's one I like better and this isn't a thing that I will reuse I will wash it out and then I'll use it for something um, I'm as you saw in my earlier video I'm trying fake eyelashes so these are really good for putting those in okay this also good for putting those in it is a Bath and Body Works black raspberry vanilla body butter I have had these forever it came in a set and I used there was like four of them in a set I think or three there were three of them in a set and or maybe there were four I don't remember mom got them for Christmas ages ago and she doesn't like any of this stuff so she gave them to me and I gave my grandma the cherry blossom one because I don't like cherries and then I had a vanilla one vanilla sugar one that I used recently and then I used up this one this month and I love this smell and of course Bath and Body Works not tested on animals. I don't even know if you can see that because my thing isn't wanting to focus. But it says not tested on animals on the back. So that's great. This is another tub that I'll reuse. I mean, I, I don't like throwing things away if I can reuse them. Okay, let's see. This. This. I hate this. Um, It's Big Sexy Hair Powder Play. This is what it looks like. I don't even know how long I've had this. It's a sample where I got it from whatever I just know I was cleaning and I found it so I thought oh I'll use it and it's supposed to be a volumizing and texturizing powder I, I will give it this you, you see how my ponytail let's see how, how I get there. you see how my ponytail is just kind of here and it's just like meh. well the one thing that this did that I approve of was it made my ponytail go like poof but otherwise, I absolutely hate this stuff. It took me forever to use up, and I was dreading every bit of it. But I was trying really hard to use it up so I could put it in my empties. And I don't like throwing things away that still have stuff in them. But you'll see a couple exceptions. And I, I don't like hairspray because it makes my hair feel crunchy. I didn't like how this made my hair feel. Because I touch my hair a lot. You'll see me move it around and everything. I don't like how this made my hair feel it made it feel all weird and I didn't want to touch it and I just had to wipe my fingers on my jeans when I got done I hated it I can't say how much I hated this stuff sexy hair is supposed to be cruelty free it doesn't say anything on this bottle it does say it was made in the US though so that is gone I'm so glad it's gone this is a San Francisco Soap Company Cleansing Shampoo Enriched with Nourishing Olive Oil. It's like one of the little ones you get from a hotel. I'm sorry, my lighting and my focusing is sucking today. This was indifferent and also nice. This was nice because I had been trying to... I used up the shampoos that I had in my shower that I had laying around. I used those up and I wanted to switch to cruelty-free stuff. So I got this one at the grocery store that I had a coupon for and my hair hated it and so I found this one at discount store it was cruelty free and not only did my hair hate it but I hated it because I hate those really thin runny shampoos yeah and then I this I, I'm not sure I think it came from Alex but it's just a little bitty one I used it and my hair didn't love it so I'm kind of, I would normally just be indifferent about it, but it was nice because my hair didn't hate it. Like it had been hating everything else I'd been trying. Um, oh! I mean, it's kind of indifferent smell. It's nothing special. But I've now switched to Tresemme, which really like Tresemme. My hair likes Tresemme. It's cruelty free, all that good stuff. I don't really know much about this. Like I said, it's like a hotel type sample. Let's see. I used up my e.l.f. makeup remover wipes. I love these. And of course, everybody knows e.l.f. is cruelty free. Where, where did it go? No animal testing right there. 
I'm really bad at getting things to show up on camera. I love these. I am currently trying out a few different new um, types of makeup wipes just to see if there's anything I might like better. But I do love these. I haven't found anything I like better yet. So assuming I don't, I'll be sticking with these because they're only three bucks. And there's 20 in there, so it lasts me most of a month, especially if I don't wear makeup every day, which I usually don't. And then I have been lately, like the past month I have been, which is weird for me. But I'm enjoying it, so. <laughs> but I love these. Along the same vein, I had the e.l.f. eye makeup remover pads, which I had ordered online because they didn't have them at Target or anywhere around here. And I don't dislike these for the product it's just they, they're little squares so I like I, I feel like I would like these more if they were about half the size of these instead of like a quarter or an eighth whatever they are if they were half the size of these it would be great because these the size that they are if I'm only wearing eye makeup then I, I kind of, because I hate wasting stuff, and I kind of feel bad using an entire one of these just to take off eye makeup, but I can't use just one of these. I have to use at least two, and what I've been doing, because I have another package downstairs that I'm trying to finish up, because I probably won't buy these again just because I might as well just buy these. What I'm doing now is, if I wear like makeup and then eye makeup whatever because that's what I've been wearing. I'll take one of these and swipe this side and I'll take another one of these and swipe this side and I'll take one of my other makeup wipes and wipe everything off the rest of my face and then go back over my eyes because there's usually a couple little black smudges left either from well and I used to get off the mascara so that's what I've been doing. Um, I don't dislike these I just they don't work for my routine so I wouldn't buy them again. Love these though. Those are the best so far. Okay, this is a Smackers Splash and Shine Pink Nilla Mint. It's kind of like a lip balm, but not really. It's okay. Um, it's one of those rare mint things I tolerate. I don't even know how long I've had this. I found it, so it was almost gone, so I finished it off. I mean, you can still see there's a little bit of product in it, but it won't come out where I can use it, and I don't really care enough to dig it out because... It wasn't really a favorite. I, it doesn't even compare to Soft Lips. Soft Lips is so much better. Along the same vein, I found both of these that when I was cleaning too. So the first one is this random lip gloss. I don't even know what this is. I just remember that it's green apple because it's the green one. Because I at some point had like a bunch of these. This is the only one that's left. I found it. I was trying to use it up. And I was making a dent in it. But you know how anytime you wear lip gloss, you end up with some in your mouth. And this just had a funky taste to it. And I was kind of like worried that it was ruined. Because I've had it forever. So I just decided to toss it. One of those rare things that I'll toss when it's not empty. This is another one of those. Um, this is just a Kid Care Groovy Berry Flavored Lip Balm. Had it forever. It's Scooby-Doo. I love Scooby-Doo. So I'm trying to use it. But it's like overly sticky and it just I don't know I don't think it's good anymore it's got yeah it's just it, the, the consistency is weird so since it's Scooby I'll probably like save it for my Scooby collection or whatever but I'm not using this it's getting metaphorically tossed I guess you could say I have well you know I'm in love with my wax melter so I have Two of the little Yankee Candle wax tarts. I have a Coconut Bay one, which, love coconut. That was absolutely awesome. And I have a Pineapple Paradise one, which I also love pineapple, and that was great. I love both of those. Uh -huh. I'm not planning on buying any of the Yankee Candle tarts anytime soon, because they're like one use unless you break them, and breaking them makes me twitch because I have issues. So they're about one use, and it's just not economically practical to get these for like $1.50 to $2 a piece for one use when I can get a six pack of the Better Homes and Gardens ones that smell almost as good like they're almost up there for like two bucks for six uses so 
I do like them. I just, it's not economically whatever. This is sort of a Yankee Candle Wax now. It's one of those little, I don't, th I don't think they're technically votives, but they're like those little candles that are like this big, you know? And it's a Yankee Candle one in spice covered. Ugh. But I got it on clearance at Target for 58 cents. I have another one over there. But I just pulled the the wick out because you can get the metal bit on the bottom. I just pull it out with my fingernails. And then I just toss the whole thing in my wax melter. This smelled great. I really like this. Um, I mean, 58 cents, that's not bad when they were originally two bucks. But it makes a nice little wax melt. I've got another one over there. I haven't decided if I'm going to burn it or wax melt it. But I did like this smell. It was unique. Definitely unique, but I like it. Alex uh, came over and he smelled. He's like, what's that? That smells really good. So he absolutely loved that. Um... This is an old, this was another thing that got passed on to me. It's a Maybelline New York Define a Brow in light brown. I don't do anything with my eyebrows. I found this cleaning. Um, it's not cruelty free, hence the white tape to make me remember. And I tried it and then it like broke off and it was dead because there wasn't really much left in it anyway. So I tried it, I used it like one day and... I mean, it was okay. Like I said, I wouldn't buy Maybelline because it's not cruelty free. But it it worked fine. Alex, I asked Alex when I saw him that day if my eyebrows looked good. He's like, yeah, I can see them more. But I mean, I'm of the opinion my eyebrows, these things are already like very there. So I don't see any point in doing this. Plus when I put makeup on, the only thing I can touch is my eyebrows. And if I can't touch my eyebrows, I'm going to freak out because I won't be able to touch anything on my face. Uh, I have Dr. Brandt Pores No More Anti-Aging Mattifying Lotion. It's supposed to be oil free. Now my face is pretty oily over most of it except for like right up here. So I don't really use moisturizers on my face because it just makes that worse. I gave this a couple tries. I gave it like two or three tries since it said it was mattifying, but I didn't really see it do anything mattifying. It wasn't as bad on my face as most moisturizers tend to be, but I didn't really see it do anything mattifying. This came in an Ipsy. Um, it only had this much product in it. It was only filled up to here. So after I gave it a few tries on my face, I just switched it to the pile of body lotions that I'm trying to use up because oh my gosh that pile is huge but yeah and I just used it up on I think I finished it off on my legs and it worked fine for that it moisturized them I mean uh okay so this is random I was cleaning and I found this one random L'Oreal smooth intense extreme straight cream and I thought okay well I'll just use it up um I, I don't know how long I've had it I don't know where it came from I just found it cleaning I do not buy from L'Oreal I will not buy from L'Oreal because they are not cruelty free um very very definitively not cruelty free they're one of the worst in my opinion but that's a rant for another time if you want that rant leave it in the comments I'll post a video but yeah, I found this. I used it. I mean, it's one use thing. My hair was really soft after I used it. I don't know if that was this or just my hair. But what's funny is, not long after I got this, and I found it and used it, I got an Influencer Vox box, and it had a bunch of stuff in it. And it had this three-part hair system thing from L'Oreal in it that is the same smooth and tense. So I just laughed when I saw it, but... This, um, it has the shampoo, the straight boosting pre-conditioner. I've never even heard of a pre-conditioner. And then the conditioner. So you do the shampoo, you wash it out, and then you put this pre-conditioner on. And you don't wash it out. You let it set for like five minutes. And then you put the conditioner on over it. And then let that sit. And then you wash the whole thing out. Now, I don't use conditioner on my hair very often because it makes it too greasy. I'm going to start trying to use it once a week 
but I haven't started that yet and I usually just avoid conditioner unless my hair is really dry or I've just colored it or something like that because it just makes my hair too greasy otherwise. But I gave this a shot, did it just like the direction she said, and it made my hair really soft. I don't know if it made it extra straight or not because it's, it's kind of in between straight and not straight anyway. And it just depends on if I lay down when it's wet or whatever, what it does. But it made it really soft. The product isn't bad, but it's L'Oreal, so I would never buy it. That's just my opinion. You can do what you want. That's my thoughts, my opinion, my spending. But those are those. Um, this, I was so sad. This came in my very first Ipsy. It's a Figs and Rouge hand cream in Mango Mandarin. It came in my first Ipsy. I love the smell, which is weird, because Mandarin, Mandarin oranges, you know. Oh, I'm so sad it's gone. I usually hate citrusy smells, and especially orange, because I feel like anything orange is just going to make me smell like orange juice. And I got this in my first Ipsy. I tried it a few times. I actually liked it, so I kept it around. And then I moved, and I started using this like crazy. I'd never really used hand creams before. And I started using this like crazy because the sanitizer at work was killing my hands. And I guess allergies or something, my hands just started getting really dry. So I've been using it a lot. So I used it up. I'm sad it's gone. It's on my list of things to repurchase. But I have some other hand creams laying around. They just started multiplying after I got this one. I don't know how or why. But I have some other ones laying around that I want to use up first. And then I'm going to re-get this one. It's the perfect consistency. It's not too thick. It's not too thin. It's not greasy. It's a great smell. I absolutely love it. And another thing that I'm very sad that's gone that came in my very first Ipsy is this scone. I'm assuming it's scone and not scone egg because there's no little accent mark. Tattooed waterproof eyeliner. Also from my very first Ipsy. It is an A N A. It is a felt tip eyeliner pen. I loved this eyeliner. It's on my list to buy again, but I thought it just dried out and then I like put it in a cup with the tip down and it, it still had some in it. So I like started using it and I got this eye done and then I got like part of the way through this eye and it just died. So that was sad. And then on the same line, when I was finishing up this eye, I used this Rimmel Scandal Eyes Thick and Thin Eyeliner. This was the very first liquid eyeliner sharpie type thing that I got. This died right after I finished this eye, same application. So, like I said, this was the first one I got. It's got kind of a, a wedgie type tip. I'm not very fond of this one. I wouldn't repurchase this one. I mean, I love Rimmel as a brand, but this one it like you know how when you take marker and you write on something plastic or something and it like just makes little beads it doesn't actually write on it that's what this did on my eyelids and I don't know if it's just my weird eyes or what but that's what this did wasn't particularly fond of it probably wouldn't repurchase it but I do love that tattooed one it's awesome I have a Chanel Hydra Beauty Micro Serum instant Repulpent Intense. Intense Replenishing Hydration. I hydration. Ugh. Wow, this is a long video. I didn't think I had this much empties. Well, if you're still here, yay. Um, or if you're even watching this. Um, those, I think I've mentioned in a couple videos that I've been randomly getting Glamour Magazine. I don't know why. I don't know how. I didn't subscribe to it. And I haven't been living in this address long, so I don't know how they got my address. I don't know why I'm getting it, but okay. And this sample was in one of the more recent ones I got. So I thought, okay, I'll try it. Now, I thought, okay, Chanel, it's going to be really good. I put it on my face because it didn't really have instructions. And I'm like, I don't know how to use this. So I, once I took off all my makeup and everything at the end of the night, I put it on my face before bed. I usually stay up for a couple hours before bed. And it was kind of sticky. And it felt weird. And I'm like, oh, I don't like this. 
And the next morning, my face was really soft and not extra greasy. So I guess it did that. And if it did, that's awesome. But I don't like the sticky. So that's that. Um, Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion. I've only got a few things left. I'm going to try and finish this up because I'm at 30 minutes right now. It's a long video. Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion. Um, this is a thing that I would not repurchase because it's not cruelty free. I originally got it because my, that's not the right arm, my birth control patch, I'm kind of allergic to the adhesive or something. I have a mild latex allergy, so, but it makes my arm, wherever I leave it, it makes it break out and get like really dry and stuff, which for me, it's a really minor thing. It's worth it because I don't have to remember to take it and all that. So, um, doctor had a time just suggested put a moisturizer on it and I'm like, moisturizer, I have heard of this thing, moisturizer, where do you find moisturizer? So I just went to CVS and I ended up with a daily moisturizing lotion. So I used that for that for a while and I've just, I've got so many of these things laying around. I was, and this is a bit old, it's a couple years old I think, not a couple years, it's like a year old I think. Anyway, I was trying, I decided to use it up so I just used it up as a body lotion and it's not bad. It doesn't have a fragrance, which I like having the fragrance. And it's a vino, which is not cruelty free. It worked. It's nice and moisturizing. It um made my legs feel weird because I was putting it on my legs. And like, you know how normally when you lotion your legs and you like rub them against the air, it's like, oh, so soft. This, it was like, like friction almost. Like they, they didn't want to rub together. It was a really weird feeling. So, there's that, but not a bad lotion. I mean, just kind of, yeah. Um, I have razors. I still have one of these in my shower, but I pulled the last one out. These are technically guy razors, but I don't care. I just get whatever I find on sale or coupon for or whatever. These are Bic Flex 4. Oh, I do like ones with more blades. Um, so... There, that's that. These are Bic Flex 4. Um, I've really been liking these. They've been working really well. I got these because what I wanted was the Gillette Fusion disposable ones. And I couldn't find them when I was looking for these. I couldn't find them. Because I really like those. They made my legs feel really nice. But I couldn't find them. Boy razors also tend to be cheaper than girl razors. Just throwing that out there. So I got these to try them out. And these were nice. I like them. They made my legs feel nice. But I hope I can find the Gillette ones again next time. Because those were really awesome. If they're cruelty free. See, this is an issue I'm having with the cruelty free thing. Like, I really want to do cruelty free. And I'm trying really, really hard to do cruelty free. But there's some things like razors and my next product, which is mouthwash, which I'll talk about in a minute. It's just really hard to find ones that are cruelty free that I'll actually use that are decent. So part of my brain is like, it's just one thing. Just get it and deal with it. But then the rest of my brain is bunnies. Bunnies. Because I've had rodents. I love rodents. And I just feel so bad about the bunnies and the guinea pigs and the rats. And I just feel terrible. So that's the problem I'm having with the cruelty free right now. It's a lot easier with makeup and soap and sh even shampoo but with stuff like this it's a lot harder and I'm really having trouble with it and trying to figure it out so if you guys have any tips for that throw those in the comments the next thing that I kind of briefly mentioned is my mouthwash I used up a bottle of this yes it's the kids one but it's got scooby-doo on it first off so duh I had to try it the first time I bought it this is like not the first bottle it's kiwi watermelon which is a flavor i actually like because i hate mint i will not go near listerine i don't like cinnamon so it's really hard to find a mouthwash that i like so i like this flavor kiwi watermelon sounded weird at first but it tastes really good and it's since it's act it's the kind that when you squish it and they have these for adults too that you squish it and it like it it sucks it up in here, and if you get too much, it goes back down. So you don't have to, like, pour it in a cap that gets all sticky and nasty and all that. 
So I love this, would totally repurchase, but I don't know if it's cruelty free. I have to look that up. And then the whole thing I was just saying, I don't know if I want to get another bottle of this. If it's not cruelty free, I just, I honestly don't know what I'm going to do about that. So I'm just not going to get any for a while because I don't use it that often anyway. And I'll do some research and I'll think about it and I'll see. I've only got four more things left, guys, so if you're still here, it's almost over. I'm sorry this is so long. I don't think next month will be so long because I've just been trying really hard to get through stuff this month. This is um, a Healthy Sexy Hair Soy Renewal Cream Oil with Argan Oil. Everybody's been nuts about Argan Oil, so this I got in an Ipsy. This is what it looks like, I guess I should show you. I got it in an Ipsy. I really like this. I've been putting it on my hair after I get out of the shower. It's really nice. The only thing is it has glitter, which is cool. But every, whenever I put it in my hair, my hands are all glittery. Anytime I touch my hair until I wash it the next time, it's glittery. If I run my arm across my hair somehow, I don't know how it happened the other day. My arm gets glittery. So that's the only thing. It's mildly annoying, but I don't really care. I really like this. And I started using it, and I've been using it for a few days. And I was reorganizing my Amazon list. And I think this is something I had been wanting to use because they used it on my hair in a salon once. I've been wanting to get because they used it on my hair when I got my hair cut last time. Well, professionally cut the last time, which was a while ago because <laughs> I usually cut my own. So it's like, oh, I forgot because the package is different that this was a thing I wanted to buy. Awesome that I got a sample of it. So I'm loving this. Um, it's still in my Amazon list to buy. I'll probably rebuy it eventually, but I have a crap ton of hair crap that I'm trying to get through. And the next one is glittery, too. Well, the next hair crap, not the next thing I'm about to show you. This is another lotion. It's Simple Pleasure Strawberry Shortcake Body Lotion. Um, the smell was eh. It was a little bit sweet, but not too sweet like I would think it might be. So, it was a nice lotion. It came in, a, I think I got it for Christmas the year before last. I know it has shower gel with it, too, when I got it, but I used that, like, right off was really cool was I started using this and I looked at the back and I'm like oh randomly cruelty free bunny that's awesome so I used that up good lotion it's just one of those I don't even know if you can get this anywhere else like I said it was a Christmas present um hey honey take it off exfoliating honey peel off mask this was also an ipsy um I don't usually do masks I have an issue with liquid on my face so, I had to have Alex help me with this, um, but it worked really well. I got like three or four uses out of it, um, but it was like Alex would come over and after dinner and be like, okay, can, can you like slather stuff all over my face because I'm going to freak out if I have to do it. Um, and then he helped me peel it off. It's weird because when you peel it off, it looks like sunburn, and at one point he had like this part peeled off, so it was all just like hanging right here. It was really funny, but it looks like you're peeling a sunburn. Seemed to work pretty well. I probably wouldn't buy it because it's really expensive because the full size is like 30 bucks, but it's a lot bigger. And I mean, this little bitty thing I got like four uses out of. Random, no testing on animals, which is awesome. That's the thing I do like about Ipsy. I've been getting it since last year. I don't remember exactly which month, but I've gotten it for quite a few months. And I've only ever gotten two products ever that were not cruelty free from them so that's another reason i really like ipsy and the last product finally this video is gonna be 40 minutes long oh my gosh i'm sorry i didn't honestly think i had that much stuff it'll be better next month i swear it'll be better next month if you're still here thank you for listening to me ramble um this is the very last thing it's odor eliminating wax melt and fresh fragrance is the brand soothing vanilla and soft lavender so it's like one of those where you get three of each and this came from dollar general it's not the usual dollar general brand this is just a random one and i didn't particularly come on i didn't particularly i mean i didn't particularly dislike this but i didn't particularly like it because i couldn't really smell it and like even when i sniffed the actual wax melts it was really vague, and I have other lavender ones that I like better.
so I probably wouldn't repurchase this. I don't usually like the, the two side ones because I get less of each one. But at the time, this was the only lavender one I could find. So I got this to try. Probably wouldn't repurchase it. Not a big fan. I have been muttering. And, and I haven't really been umming and ahhing and ranting that much. It's mostly just been my empties for 40 minutes. So I'm sorry this took so long. If you're still with me, thank you so much. Um... I have been saying things about commenting and subscribing. I'm trying to do that more. Get more f subscribers and stuff. Trying to get my channel bigger so I can do more stuff. Because I have some awesome video ideas I really want to do. But I can't really do them with only 17 subscribers. Don't get me wrong. I am extremely excited about my 17 subscribers. And my newest 17th subscriber. But I, they're like things where I'm hoping to get... Well, I don't want to. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to jinx it. But I have ideas that I want to do because I've been watching way too many YouTube videos. But I need more subscribers. So share my videos. Subscribe. Comment. Get them spread around, please. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking around. If you're li if you've stuck around this long, I'm sorry I talk so much. I was just trying to be thorough. This is my first empties video. Like I said, next month will be much, much shorter. I don't usually, like, I know the candles were a big part, and that won't be happening next month. So there will be a lot less next month. It will be a lot shorter. I'm going to shut up now. I will t see you later, and thanks for sticking around. Bye.